If you want to build your first N8N agent with Google tools, this is the perfect video for you. In a minute, I'll show you how to add records to Google Sheets. I'll show you how to update your Google Calendar and even send emails straight through a chat interface. Many creators leave things out, but I'll show you everything in detail step by step, even if you have no previous experience. And if you want a lot of theory and explanation, this video is not for you. This is a step-by-step -step setup guide. So by the end of this video, you can have your own AI agent that does work for you. Let's get started with step number one, go to NAN.io because this is the AI agent platform that we'll be using. Just click on get started, enter your name, email, and password and start a free 14 day trial. Now that you're on the inside, let's go to step number two, create workflow. Click on this node right here, and then we're gonna click on on chat message. This is how we trigger the AI agent. Click on open chat and in the bottom left corner, you'll see the chat interface we're going to use. We're going to change this in a later step. But first, let's go to step number three, set up the AI agent. Just click on this button here. Click on AI in the top right, then click on AI agent. Everything here is fine as it is of now. And then let's click on chat model. Here you can use many different models, but we're going to use OpenAI chat model. Just click on it and the GPT-40 mini is good enough for most tasks, but you can select more of them right here. Let's go back again and go to the memory. Just click here, click on simple memory and select a context window length of 10. This will give your AI agent actual memory so it remembers what you are asking it. So if I type a message here now, you can see that this is a normal chat GBT basically. And it also has memory. If we ask it something like, what was the last thing I said? It's going to say hello, which if you don't have this module here, it would be a goldfish. But if you're this far and you set all of this up, Let's head to step number four, connect to Google. If you want to connect to, for example, Sheets, Google Calendar, Gmail, and many other Google related tools, you need credentials to connect with your Google account. So just click on this icon here, click on open docs and set up OAuth through Google Cloud. So let me show you that in five easy steps. Number one, go to cloud.google.com and click on console. Click in the top left, click on a new project, name it N8N Google and click on create. Click on it again and select N8N Google. Step number two, enable APIs. Click here, click on APIs and services and click on enable APIs and services. Scroll down and you'll see Google Workspace. Hold control and click on it so you open it in a new tab. Do this with Google Calendar, Gmail API, Google Sheets, even YouTube if you want to do YouTube automation. Just open everything you want in a new tab. If you want Google Meet, Google Forms, do all of this now so you have access to all of them without trying to set them up again. Next, go to your tab and click on Enable. Go to the next tab, click Enable. Go to the next tab and click Enable. Just do this for every single one so you have access to them through NAN and your AI agent. Step number three, set up your OAuth consent screen. Just click on the top left and click on APIs and services. Then click on OAuth consent screen. Click on get started, select app name NAN, user support email, select the account you have signed up with. Click on next, click on external and click on next. Enter your email address, click next, tick this box and click continue, then create. Awesome, you're doing amazing. Let's go to step number four. Go back again to APIs and services and click on credentials. In the top, click on create credentials and select OAuth client ID. Select the application type web application, name it NAN, then click on add URI. This link you will get from N8N. Click on add node, write drive, select Google Drive, copy file, click on this icon, and here you'll find the OAuth redirect URL. Just copy this, go back and paste it and click on create. Here you get your client ID and here you get your client secret. Copy the client ID, paste it right here, 
copy the client secret and paste it right here. Once that is done, just click on sign in with Google, click on the email you signed up with. If you end up on this screen right here, all you need to do is go to credentials and click on the name NAN Google 3. And inside of here, you're gonna click on audience. From here, just click on publish app. You'll get this pop up right here. Just click on confirm. As you can see, it's now published and you now connected all the Google APIs. If you missed any of that, just skip back in the video again. Now that everything is done, let's set up the actual tools for this AI agent. So let's go to step number five, add the tools. Click on this plus icon and add Google Sheets. The example I want to show is to make a simple calorie tracker that if you say, I just ate two slices of pizza, can you add that to my calorie tracker? If I send that, it's going to estimate how many calories it is with ChatGPT and then update it to Google Sheets automatically. So as you can see, we get that updated right here. Also, we need a node so we can search, for example, say, how many calories did I eat today? It's going to use its memory or the Google Sheets to count how much we ate and we get 1,859 calories back. Once you understand how to make this AI agent, you can use it for any other Google Sheets AI agent that you want to create. So the first thing we should do is to add a Google Sheet. In the top, we rename it to add or update the calorie tracker. This helps the AI agent know what this node is for. Next, we're gonna set the tool description to manual. Add or update the calorie tracker. Again, this description is going to help the AI agent add things to it. Under resource, we'll select seat with document and operations, get rows, we're gonna change that to append or update row. And in the document, you should have created a new Google Sheet called Calorie Tracker. The sheet we're gonna use is obviously just one table, sheet one, map each column manually, column to match on, we're gonna select the food. In values to send, and this is where magic happens, we're gonna let the model define this, basically using AI to do this. But under the date, what we're going to do is to add a description. We're going to add this description that says we're going to format it to day, month, year, and hour, minute. You can obviously change this around if you want a different format. But the only problem now is that the AI agent doesn't know what the correct time is. So we need to go to the AI agent. We need to add option. Click on system message. Then we're going to write today's date and time is squiggly bracket times two dollar sign now this is going to make sure that the ai agent know exactly what time it is right now or else it's going to say that it's 2024. the other description we're going to add is if i don't specify how many calories are in each food items use ChatGPT to get the calories before you add it to the tracker awesome We've now set up the system message. So let's go back to Canvas. Let's click on save. And if you're this far, you can actually use your AI agent. Add one burger to my calorie tracker. Send it and it's going to estimate it. It's going to go to the calorie tracker and you should get one back. It's 250 calories. So remember even more context saying that you had two pieces of bacon on it and some cheese is going to give you an even better estimate. So now that we're able to add, we need to be able to search the database. So I'll click on Command C and click on Command V to just copy paste this exact node. And the only thing that we're going to change is to say, instead of add or update, we're going to say search the calorie tracker. Next, we're going to have operations not be append or update. We're going to have get rows. Lastly, we'll change the name of it. So it is search calorie tracker rename. And just like that, it can now search your Google sheet. Just make sure that we add it like this. I'm going to keep all these in, but this one has a different time format. So I'll ask it now, how many calories did I eat today? It's going to go in, search all the records that are there, and it's going to come back with me with 1800 calories. So you're now able to add or search your Google Sheets, but what if you want to add or search your Google Calendar? Well. Let's go to step number six, add Google Calendar. Just go to this tool. And once again, we're gonna search for calendar, click on Google Calendar tool. And just like that, we have most of it set up. Just click on this icon here and sign in with Google. Because you already did this, it's going to take you two seconds. 
In the tool description, we're gonna set it to automatically. In resource, we're gonna make it event. In operation, we're gonna select create. In calendar, just select the one that is best suited for you. I'm gonna select my main one. From the start, we're going to again, let the model define this parameter. And we're also going to let the model define this parameter. And the only thing we need to change is to add the field that is called summary. This is what your event is going to be called. So if we say, let's invite Jessica to brunch at 2 p.m., it will be named something like Jessica brunch. Again, let the model define this parameter. So just like that, you have added a Google calendar that can add to your calendar. But what if you want to search? Well, it's the exact same. Click the tool again, Google Calendar tool, but instead of create, we're going to get many. From the list, we're gonna select Anders, return all togged on. Then we're gonna let the AI define all of these things. And one thing I forgot is to actually rename the model, search Google Calendar. I'm also going to do that with the other one, add to Google Calendar. And now it should be working. If I say, can you add to my Google Calendar that I'm going to eat at 7 p.m. with Jessica Egon's restaurant? We can send it and you'll see your agent add to Google Calendar. And if we check my Google Calendar, you see dinner with Jessica at Egon's restaurant right here. Can you add brunch with the boys at 2 p.m. tomorrow? If I send that again, we're going to add to Google Calendar. And just like that, we got brunch with the boys tomorrow. If I just select this over to the next day, we can also use the search function. What is on my calendar tomorrow, specifically around eating? Again, it's going to go through the get all event instead of it said brunch with the boys at two and then dinner with Jessica at seven. And then this tab here that is more for me. But as you can see, it's working perfectly. And you can, of course, add a lot of things. Like, for example, you could add fields and then you can get attendees and say you, instead of having a calorie tracker, you have, for example, Jessica and you have Jessica at gmail.com. The AI agent could always know what the email of Jessica is and add her as an attendee. And then, of course, we're going to send her an email as well through step number seven, send at Gmail. So once again, we're going to add a new tool, Gmail, click on it. Here we have the Gmail account. Again, it takes you two seconds now to set this up. We're going to add send Gmail, rename it. In the resource, we're going to select message. But if you don't want it to automatically send, I would select draft instead so you can approve what the AI agent is actually sending. In the operation, we're gonna select send. In two, we're going to get AI to define this. Subject, we're gonna get AI to define this and the message. The only thing is that we're going to add a description here that is sign off like this, best regards AI Andy. And so now if we go back to Canvas and we say, can you send an email to Jessica? And because it doesn't know what her email is, I'll write it in here as well that we are going to Egon's at 7 p.m. And if I send that, you'll see that the Gmail should light up. We have a refresh token. I believe this is because I set up a new one. I'll just sign in with Google, select my account and the connection is successful. I'll send the exact same message again. The Gmail should be lighting up and sent. And just like that, we have the email sent. Pretty cool, right? Now that all the tools are set up, we are going to set up a chat bot because I bet you don't want to go in here and send a message. So let's go to step number eight, set up the chat bot. Just delete this chat node here, right click add node and we're going to use Telegram. Click on on message. And the reason we're using Telegram is because it's so easy to set up. If you want to use Messenger, WhatsApp, it is a lot harder. I also recommend Slack if that is something you use because it's very easy to set up. All you need to do is to click on this icon again, open the docs, go down until you find this start a chat with Botfather, open Telegram and inside of the Botfather chat, select slash new bot, click on create bot. What are we going to call it? Make sure you select a name that has underscore bot at the end. Okay, that is actually what we did. 
And just like that, you have created your own bot. Just click on this and just like that, click on start and Telegram is set up. Go back to N8N. Now inside of this field access token, just go to the Telegram bot father and you'll see the access token right here. Copy and paste it right in here and your Telegram account should be set up. Now, every time you send a chat in the Telegram, you can get it to trigger the AI agent. However, we need to set up two new things. The first is this prompt user message. I'll click on define below. Here from the prompt, we're going to select the Telegram message. So let's execute previous nodes. First, we need to actually send a message to the calorie tracker. I'll use this one, hello. Then you'll see that we get an actual input. In the prompt user message, we're going to select this text down here, hello. Just drag and drop it into the prompt field. And that's all you need to do to get the AI agent to get the message. However, if you want memory, just double click on the simple memory. And here in the session ID, we're going to select define below. And the key should be your chat ID right here. Just drag and drop it into the key as well. And now you're going to have a context window length of 10 Telegram messages. Go back to Canvas again. And just like that, we can use Telegram as your new calorie tracker. I just ate a burger with two pieces of bacon and a slice of American cheese. Can you add that to my calorie tracker? I'm going to send it and uh, we need to execute workflow. It got that trigger. Here we get ChatGPT to estimate the calories and we actually got both of them. I hope it does the exact thing that I wanted to do. If we go back to the calorie tracker, as you can see, burger with two pieces of bacon, a slice of American cheese, 500 calories. But the issue now is that we don't get a message back. So that's why we need to click on this note again, say Telegram, search for message, click on send a text message. The operation is send message, chat ID we get from the Telegram trigger. Just go back, chat ID, text should be the output of the agent. So just go here, select that and reply markup. We keep none and that should be all. We just execute this step. And just like that, we get the things we have back. So now that everything is set up, we can click on save. We can turn it active by clicking this button in the top right. Workflow activated, got it. And now we can use it just like any chatbot. Add one hot dog with mustard and ketchup in a bun. And in four, three, two, one, it should get back to me just like that. We have added mustard, ketchup, hot dog and bun. And it also gives me the calories for today back. Can you add an event tomorrow that I'll drown in chocolate fondue with Jessica at 5 p.m.? As you can see, drown in chocolate fondue, June 7th, tomorrow, 5 p.m. And just like that, it's on the calendar here as well, drown in chocolate fondue. Send a message to asking if he wants to go to Hofiel this weekend to ride bikes. And just like that, we should send an email and we get the reply back. I've sent the message to Andy. And here is the message as well. The sign off here is a little bit wonky, so you can always define it a little bit better, just like you're talking to ChatGPT, and that should be perfect. So you've now created your first AI agent that has a chat interface through Telegram. But if you wanna take this one step further, I highly recommend checking out our school community AI Mate. If you have any tech questions, we'll answer it within 24 hours. We also have a lot of automations you can just copy and paste from LinkedIn profile outreach message to creating entire videos for social media from scratch with AI tools. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.